you hot? You high? Hello, I'm testing. All right, just all right, just making sure. You high? It's time for your late night NXT 2.0 or whatever. It's same shit. It doesn't even matter. It's 2.0, 1.0. I don't give a fucking no. Review, okay? It's the same shit, okay? Grab your Coca Colas, whatever the fuck, drink my new sleep, buy me spits, go shit, oh shit. It's good stuff. Actually, you know, I gotta pour a little more. Mm. No soul left behind. Mm. It's good stuff. So, not much happened on NXT. Apparently, yeah. I didn't know there was going to be a pay-per-view this... Okay, so there's Hell in the Cell this Sunday, and I forgot that was going to happen. And, apparently, NXT TakeOver is going to happen this this Saturday. Like, really? Um, in your house? Really? I, I don't know what to tell you, but yeah. So, that's what's happening. So... This week is going to be... Oh, man. This week is already so much wrestling. Fucking A. It's not even a good wrestling, but whatever. I missed the first 15 minutes, but it's probably was a good thing that I missed the first 15 minutes because you see gay fuckers uh, wrestling a gay fucker and some big fat black guy. Um, so, Pretty Gay Deadly defeated um, Roderick Strong and Damon Kemp. No one fucking cares about this match. We see Legato de Fasma versus Tony D'Angelo, Channing, Slax, Lorenzo, and Troy Two Dimes Talk Donovan is made official for In Your House. So basically, it'll be a six man tag type of thing, whatever. So, like, they have their comp uh, top taste for each other. It's fine. I mean, it's fine, you know. Whatever. Um, Cora J defeats Electra Lopez. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't mind this match, and, like, I'm not gonna lie, you know, these chicks are good looking and shit, but, like, the f problem with this match is, like, this match, you know, like, it makes one person look weak, and plus, Electra Lopez, she, she's, like, in a, like, in a primetime feud with, you know, they're trying to face the mob cartel, right, and they're the, well, the mob people, and they're the cartel thing, and then they're losing, it doesn't really help the, help this, you know? Then Wesley defeats Ixion Quinn, whatever. You see beforehand the Indian guy, like the big Indian guy who's like Veer Mahan's old partner and like, you know, being a motivational guy. I don't know. Whatever it is, what it is. Roger Strong tells the Creed Brothers that they must win or they'll be kicked out of Diamond Mine for some reason, but whatever. Wade Barrett holds a summit for Tatcha Attraction, Windy Chu and Contana Chance and... Hayden, for some reason, why is this a summit? Why is this happening? I don't know, and I don't care. It's just basically a cliche, you know, instead of calling this a contract signing, because we do too many contract signings, we're going to call this a summit. So this was basically a contract signing. Um, yeah. Um, basically, the the other chick said, that you've been champions for too long, we're tired of seeing you, and you're, you know, you're too attractive than us. That, that's why we should win. And then the fucking Wendy Chu bitch kept saying, like, sign a contract or whatever. And then Manny Rose basically spitting out facts, talking about how, you know, she's been, you know, champion for this long. And then how she basically bring people to care about NXT and whatever. But then, like, you got the smarky wrestling fans, like, saying, sign a contract or whatever. Because, like, they're on her, they're on the other. I understand, you know, he will face the shit, but, like, it's like, how is the face of saying, how, how is the, how are the heels... They're saying more logic. They're actually like, if anything, they they saying shit that's truth. And that the faces, they're just being. If anything, they're the fucking true heels. I don't know what to tell you, but anyways. Well, you know that sadly, how does Mandy Rose get her ass through the table? Which I guess like maybe that would mean that she'll be the champion still. Which hopefully that's the case. But no one cares about these bitches, whatever. So let's Sakai defeat two Hudson, whatever. Uh, Grayson Wall defeats Josh Briggs after the match. Juan Wagner def uh, attacks Josh Briggs. I don't even know what happened. I didn't really care about this. All I care is, I guess, the son. The, the chick. I don't know. The Simone, whatever chick. She's kind of cute, you know. 
So I gave a fuck about. So what's this for next week? The finals, the breakout tournament. We have we see like promos, like we see Roxanne Perez, like oh, I missed my prom and whatever for like. I'm sorry, that's like weird. I, it is weird. Like dedicate that your life that much to wrestling when wrestling sucks nowadays. I don't know what to tell you. But then you got Tiffany Stratton, like, saying the truth. This is why the fucking heels are so much... I don't know. They're just fucking speaking logic. They're the two faces. Fucking Tiffany Stratton actually fucking, you know, own this bitch. Like, saying, like, she probably didn't have a fucking prom date or whatever. Um, and saying, like, all this stuff. It, it was freaking... The Tiffany Stratton is actually kind of good, you know? So, speaking that truth. I don't like that her face kind of looks more plasticky. But, hey, at least she's saying the truth. She's trying to actually be hot, I guess. So, you know, at least that's something. I'd be nervous to feed Kanina gems or whatever. I mean, I don't, I don't know. All I know is this Kiana chick she looks like she's trying to be like a fucking porn star from a... Like, she's trying to be... It looks like she's trying to be like a teacher's porn star. Like, what the fuck is that? I don't know. Some of what I remember. But hey, no fat, you know? Like, you don't need to fucking watch porn anymore. But that's what I remember from my days of watching porn. And that's like the truth. That yeah, fucking... The, the gay... Deadly fuckers comes out. I don't know, like, what? They're gonna assault women? Is that because they hate women that much? They're gonna rather fuck themselves and whatever. I don't know. They were gonna attack the chick. You know, like, she's, like, manner than them, for God's sakes. But then the Diamond Mine people come out and, you know, protect her. So, whatever. Uh, Tia Hale calls a pre press conference that she graduated high school and now will be attending Chase University. To, to apparently, because Chase University, that's... Very funny, and that's like so schoolish or whatever. And it was like, how is this funny? I mean, it's whatever. I guess it gives. But the thing is, the chance or Chase University, like, who the fuck cares about these people? But hey, I mean, it's something for NXT, I guess. I don't care. A vignette is shown for Gianna Giannavani Vinci. Um. Yeah, he's Giovanni Giorgio, but everybody calls him Giorgio. Okay. Um, yeah. No, no one fucking... I don't know what this is supposed to be. I mean, you obviously, I guess, like, that's the point of vignette, so... Yeah. Let's hope... Like, if only WWE did more like this in the main roster with vignettes, or even people who are on NXT and you're gonna have them in the main roster, you should do vignettes. That way people can actually, like... You could introduce these people and actually people give a shit. Because that's what work. Like it or not... As much as the whole Veer Mahan thing, you know, the vignettes has been too much. At least it worked for him when he finally re came to the fucking main roster and as, as his own or whatever. Even though he was already on the main roster, but whatever. And the main event, Cameron Grimes defeats Nathan F Fraser. Yeah, really, this was the main event. After the match, Carmelo Hayes sends a one into Grimes. Yeah, this was... I'm sorry, this is such a weak way to end the show. Oh yeah, I forgot. Apparently during the show, yeah, you got, you got Joe Gacy basically, you know, saying like how Braun Breaker was always haunted that, you know, he has daddy issues. You know, his father was never there for him and blah, 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 while wrestling all over the world and blah, blah, blah. And then fucking you got, oh, Joe Gacy's haunting playing mind games to, to fucking Braun Breaker. But then, yeah, he was going to break a TV, but he's going to hold composure. Or like, really? I don't know. So Braun Breaker was on the show, like, so what? Like, I mean, like or not, like, why not? Why isn't Braun Breaker in the main event? Like, why isn't, or at least something, like, why is he just... This is the problem with wrestling nowadays. Like, there's no set main eventers, and you're having people... This is happening on Raw, this is happening on SmackDown. You're having people who are not main eventers main eventing the show. That is a problem. I'm sorry, like... There's a point why you have main eventers start the show and end the show and, you know, mid-carders be the mid card and shit. You can't have mid-card shit being the main event because it's just like, who fucking cares and makes people not care? Because especially when there's thousands of main eventers. They're not even main eventers yet. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. You know what I mean? It just makes people like, who gives a fuck? Like, where is, where is Braun Breaker? Where are the main eventers at? And I, I will say this, like, really, like, wow, NXT 2.0 really do lack the main eventers or whatever. I mean, like, the thing is, like, they should be saving all the good shit, all the stuff to help develop them for the main roster. Because that's what the point of the developmental brand should be. But, again, you're putting this on TV, you know. I don't know. It just, it is what it is. All I have to say is just, this show was whatever, you know. 
pretty boring show. Now fuck was given much. But at least, I would say the show, I mean, as much as, like, a lot of stupid shit happens, there's, like, more logic to this shit than fucking a lot of things, you know? I think that's being generous, but it's just the truth. Like, overall, NXT still is pretty boring, but fuck. I'm not trying to sound smarky, but, like, at least there's, like, a bit... It's only, not by a lot, but just a tiny bit more logic than fucking Raw and SmackDown. It's the fucking truth, unfortunately. Because at least they're doing vignettes. At least they're fucking trying to build towards feuds and whatever. And, you know, the world champion's gonna have a match. Like, fucking, there's no championship match on fucking pay-per-view for Hell in a Cell. So fucking stupid. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. That's all I have to say, people. Just get real. Get your games. Your calls my news. These guys make some bitches go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's all I have to say. NXT's pretty boring, though. Let's just say. Till next time. See you later. Yeah, bye.